Go steal everybody's <laughs> shit. Just fuck their everybody women. up. How is everybody so big? That's what's crazy. Like when you see those guys from Iceland, the, all those world powerlifting champion guys, and like like uh, like the mountain. Thor. Yeah. Like how are they? How's everybody so big over there? I think it's like an ancient DNA. That's, yeah, it has you know, to be. You know, that's almost gotten lost. It's it's there, man. It's fucking. They say giants. You know, I believe that there was giants walking the earth at one point. There's probably fucking eight foot tall, nine foot tall motherfuckers. They say they were like 20, 30, 20, 30 feet tall. Is that real? Because didn't they say? find a femur bone? It says the average Viking was uh, eight to ten centimeters, three to four inches shorter than we are today. The skeletons that are that archaeologists have found revealed that a man around 172 centimeters tall, five foot six, and a woman had an average height of five foot one. Yeah, but that's the, just the people that they killed. Yeah, those are the ones that died. <laughs> those are the skeletons. They yeah, found. everybody else died in a fire everybody, on a boat. On a boat. Yeah. yeah. If you were a fucking yeah. If you were like if you you had to die, those are the ones that just didn't die with their sword in their hand. Yeah. <laughs> they just found them stomped to death. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking ran through. <laughs> that's such a, that, when they talk about the average. That's funny. So they killed a bunch Stopped of five foot six death. dudes. <laughs> it's like that's all that is. <laughs> like the amount of five foot six dudes that got stomped to death is pretty high. We think they were all pretty short. <laughs> like, <laughs> this obviously that can't be true. Because the stories of them all being these giant savages, and then you have the guys in Iceland, you got guys like you, obviously they were giant. Yeah. It seems it's obvious, obvious that the ones who were like at the front of the boats, the guys who were raiding, they were giant people. Yeah. And I think I think that uh I think that like the, the water was so much different back then that glacier drank milk. That glacier water yeah. and they were eating fucking musk ox and mm -hmm. fucking uh Irish elk. Remember the Irish yeah. elk? They were eating shit like that. Yeah. So, like, they were eating just, they were just, like, meat, leaves, and berries. High protein and, and murder. tons, yeah. <laughs> and mushrooms. <laughs> and mushrooms. They were, and they, they did, they used to do, like, ayahuasca. Those Vikings are, like, really into that. Well, I know they were into mushrooms, right? They and, would, yeah. They would take mushrooms before they would go on. That was in the, the, the show, too. Yeah. The show was great because there was no real good guys. Like, the people that they were storming the castle and killing them, they were cunts, too. Yeah. So it's like you didn't really mind that they were getting murdered. Well, everybody was <laughs> fucked up back then, everybody right? Like, everybody up. was fucking evil. <laughs> yeah. You had fucking kings that just owned all the land and would be like, nope, you can't eat anything off this land. Yeah. You're going to starve. That's the real Robin Hood story. Yeah. What Robin Hood was really about was hunting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... I mean, that's not that long ago. That's not that it's long not, ago. It's not, no. That's when you crazy. think about how long, like, it's just a little blip. A, bl a tiny little blip. <laughs> just a fucking blip. Do you uh, ever uh, pay attention to guys like Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson and th these guys that think that there was a huge reset of civilization? I've heard about the reset. But they, I but they, I talk more about that because they that's think that there was natural disasters, probably comet impacts around eleven thousand eight hundred years ago. And okay, it reset yep. civilization and probably knocked us back into the Stone Age. Yeah, and that it makes sense if you think about the like when you're talking like a thousand years ago with the Vikings and two thousand years ago with the Romans and just how savage and barbaric people were, but yet thousands of years before that they built the pyramids. Like how they do that. Well, if something happened that like wiped everyone out back down to like just pure savage people that just scratch and claw to stay alive, and then they rebuilt civilization, but you would have the echoes of that barbarism just running through cultures, and that's what we have. Yep. And that's really when you see the Vikings, when you when you you think about the Mongols, you think about the horrific shit that people did to each other just a couple thousand years ago, and then a few thousand years before that, you have this immensely sophisticated civilization in Africa that's building s giant stone structures and perfect geometry like what happened what yeah. the fuck happened so, yeah it has to be it has to make sense I, I totally believe in that uh this is what's what's the documentary called uh well the, Graham Hancock's is well, called there's a, there's natural a, catastrophes yeah yeah ancient apocalypse uh, okay, ancient, ancient apocalypse, apocalypse. ancient so terrible he names. said natural natural catastrophes, natural catastrophes. Ancient, apocalypse. ancient apocalypse ancient apocalypse and Graham's uh is is i think i believe it's seven pieces seven how many parts is it uh hold on actually it's at least four but it's all different. i watched it it's amazing it's fucking great it's amazing and that this is what he's pointing out and archaeologists are very hesitant to get on board with it because they've been lecturing this different narrative for so long and they've been writing books and 
you know, I mean, they don't want to say they were wrong, but it looks like they were wrong. It looks like the idea of the start of civilization being around 6,000 years ago is a restart of civilization. That so has you, to be. Yeah, it makes sense. Because when, when they're finding these structures like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey and, and a lot of the ones they believe in Egypt. Have you it, been to Egypt? No, I haven't been there yet. Dude. I heard it's insane. I climbed to the center of the Great Pyramid. Yeah? Fucking wild energy in there. Oh, I can imagine. Fucking vibrating like, ooh. Really? Like it's fucking like weird. Like you feel it? Yeah. Or is it just like no, you feel it? You can almost because you you're there. No, you can almost hear it. Really? It's like this weird energy in there. Yeah. It doesn't feel like, like it doesn't put off like a bad vibe or anything. It just feels like electric in there. Mm. It's like what is this? A fucking power station? What is it? I don't know. It's a. They say it's a tomb. Yeah, but that's not real. That can't be real. I don't think that's real because why I, would they spend? So, they wouldn't spend yeah. that much fucking time and manpower. I mean, maybe they would if the king was that much of a baller, but I just don't think that it makes sense. First of all, I don't believe they've ever found uh, like a dead pharaoh inside of one of those things. No. I don't think there's any real indication that it's a tomb. And they're like, oh, it's it just got speculation. robbed. It was robbed. They definitely were. I mean, they, they robbed But why would the you take a body? Ooh. They definitely did. I looked into that recently, remember? Yeah, we were, they, they, they eat them. them. They used to eat them. Yeah. Up until like 100 years ago, they ate them. Yeah, people would have uh, <laughs> ceremonies like rich people's houses, the fuck, and they yeah. would they would unwrap mummies in front of their guests. Yeah, it was like an English thing, right? Uh, even up it until sounds like an Illuminati thing. <laughs> <until 1909, laughs> it does. They they would give people ground skull for uh, just like headaches and shit like that. Ground up skull. The ground up mummy was called mum, 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 mummia, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mummia, yeah. Jeez. What the fuck? Yeah, that's fucking weird. Yeah, <laughs> bro, that call, if there's one place that I could go see what the fuck was it like. It would be ancient Egypt. Oh. That would be the number one spot. I'd be like, I gotta say, I gotta see what were you guys doing? Like, how'd you do this? Well, then show me how you, you move wonder, a rock. Yeah, well, I think there was water flowing through that area. Well, there definitely was. The Nile River's there. Well, the Nile, yeah, but I'm talking about right next to the pyramid. Like, why do you think that? Because there's no fucking way. If you've ever, there's no way they move that shit through sand. Yeah. They're like, oh, they rolled them on logs. Motherfucker, that's sand. Those logs are just going to sink into the sand. <laughs> well, it wasn't necessarily sand back then. See, this is the, the crazy thing about the, that area, um, is that where, there, where there's, like the Sahara Desert used to be vast greenlands. Yeah. It used to be like a jungle. And it receded and became a jungle. It became this, what we see now, all the sand. And Egypt in the early days, like 9,000 BC, I believe, that it they had it was a rainforest. Yeah. So like that same area where now it's just sand and dry, it was like torrential dr downpours all the time. That's one it's of the reasons. Like Pangaea, right? When when the when yes. we just had just one continent, it was just a tropical things. A, a giant a giant island. Right? That was a long ass time ago. Though. Yeah. 